You're going to learn how to create this video effect that you see in the second part of this clip in today's Canva tutorial. Welcome to the Canva classroom, everybody. Let's get started. We need to get our template size. We're going to grab a video template and actually we're just going to create a blank video here. Let's look up wedding bouquet and go to the videos tab. It is a Canva Pro video and this is what it looks like. It's 10.9 seconds long and we're going to right click set videos background. We're going to move this timeline right here to about 4.7 seconds. Right click to split the page. You see there's two different clips now. In the Elements tab, search for Grid, go to All, and we're going to pull up a grid right here that we can put our gradient in. We're going to go to the More tab because I've got the gradient I want in one of my folders, Gradient Background Image. I created this image last time. It's a very cool technique using the Draw app, but let's slide that right in Take the transparency down to 33. Now, it gives it an awesome overlay effect on the video. Let's look at it. Now, you're going to notice a glitch. The glitch is coming. That glitch does not show up in the final product, but it does in Canva's interface. Not a big deal. But I want to show you how to add a transition to it. Let's add a transition, click the plus sign, add a transition, and we're going to use match and move. Match and move is a beta transition. You might not have it yet, but it's coming. We're going to leave the duration at 0.5 seconds. Let's look at it. You will notice the transition right there, and that looked fantastic. So, we're going to close this out. What if you want to change out the gradient? Good question. You'll learn that with an image instead so you can see how it changes the look of a picture. I selected this cute dog photo from Canvas Library of Photos. Double clicked that and was able to slide it over and I'm going to pick out the gradient I want. Same gradient. But I want to show you why you want to use a grid right now. So we'll make it the same size as the image. And this looks great. I'm going to let go of it. It looks like it's fine, but if I click out, it takes over the background. That's why you want to use a grid. Elements, grid, see all, and Right click, send it back, and insert your image. Reduce the transparency to see the image behind it. Grids are fantastic because now you can pop in any image and it will maintain the same transparency. Watch. There we go. I can add this gradient or that gradient and one of the clips that I frequently use in the videos is this clip. And I always have some sort of overlay on top. Most of the time it's just a plain color, but that's fun too. Last time you learned how to create two different gradients, this one and this one, using this Draw Beta app. If you want to know how I did that, then you're going to want to check out this tutorial that's on your screen right now. It will also be in the description below. If you like this Canva tutorial and want to see more like it, then make sure that you are subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye.